don't y'all know a lot of people be really out here having all this hate for no reason be looking at your life and trying to figure out how you got to where you are in life and see a lot of the times what we see what we tend to go through is we encounter people which when i told y'all before i say people who don't have a sense of self people who don't know what they want in life don't know how to go about it and see what you encounter is people who threw you under the bus people who had so much to say about you you understand what i'm saying people who really wanted you to stay down people who really wanted you to suffer but all my life huh they've been trying to keep us down you can't hold the past against me no more i come from the trenches right a lot of people who went up against you tried to hold your past against you and what you had did not even understanding that that was part of your growth that was part of your path that was part of your journey right and learning from what you went out there and did people who you went out there and trusted that you didn't have no business trusting and in part it hurts us when we figure out who was really connected to family and who family was confided in and who family was sitting up here and down talking to you too and a lot of this is all stemmed from like i said deep rooted insecurities and jealousy that people had about you but let me tell you something when god calls you out of the world there's going to be a lot of people you're automatically routed to not fit in with these people for these people to not understand you let me tell you something you could be the one with the most sense up in the group you could be the one with the most wisdom up in the group you could be the one most likely to succeed in the group baby if the group is not in alignment with you you get what i'm saying if the energy is off because these people are low vibration these people are calculated these people are vindictive they take calculated moves in practicing evil and being evil and being spiteful because let me tell you something when god calls you out and you you know you go through certain things and you encounter people that don't understand you but then look at how you blew up uh how you glowed up in life look at how you became successful look at how you overcame calamity and ruin and destruction in your life that they were sending your way let me tell you something when people realize that the only ruin and destruction that they caused was in their own lives that's when people sit back and they think about what it is that they've done but let me tell you something you got a lot of people who move through this world they do evil to people they talk evil about people and they don't think about the repercussions and consequences of they actions but let me tell you something these people move throughout the world like they're invincible oh you know i'll never feel regret i'll never feel remorse but god work in mysterious ways baby especially when you're going up against his and things being publicized for you as to who went up against you and how you were struggling at once upon a time this is why your glow up came as a shock to a lot of people because of all the hate that you was receiving and a lot of people wanted to see you suffer and a lot of people thought that you was gonna stay down all my life they've been trying to keep us down first generation first generation who my where my first generations at made it out the hood with my head on straight where my first generation is at? Where my overcomers at? Where my warriors at? All my life. They've been trying to keep us down. Where all my people at? Where you was told you was a menace. That you was never going to amount to anything. That you was never going to do nothing with your life. Sitting back in the corner laughing at you. Ignorant. Stupidity. The things that you was joked about. You shouldn't have been joked about. If people wasn't out here trying to pay your bills, if people wasn't out here trying to help you through your destruction and through your demise and through your shortcomings and your pitfalls, nobody should have been sitting up in the corner judging you and laughing and talking about it. But all my life, they've been trying to keep us down. First generation, made it out the hood with my head on straight. See, people be out here watching you and another thing that Cole said. They be out here watching. They be, they be thinking that they 10 steps ahead of me, but they find out that they 10 steps behind. You get what I'm saying? Like when people so busy watching you, when people so busy trying to pocket watch you, when people so busy operating not out of a place of gratitude, but operating out of a place of hate and envy. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then they have to see that when they are being met with roadblocks and blockages and delays in their life, it's because of the energy that they was operating out of. People do the most to be evil. But then sit back and want to be a part of your life to see if the evil is working in your life. Some of us came and was dealing with people who had some real serious mental issues. 
But when I tell you that these people aren't invincible, these people are not going to get away with what they've done to you, please believe me. Believe me, baby, it's saying in the Bible, vengeance is mine, so saith the Lord. You put bad energy out there in the world, that's what you're gonna get back. People be so relentless in wanting to see a certain outcome for you. All my life, they be trying to keep us down. First generation, made out of the hood with my head on straight. Too busy trying to watch you. Too busy wanting to be you. Too busy wanting you to lose everything that you had worked so hard that you was blessed to have, but not even understanding all the hell that you had to go through before you stepped up in there. All the things that people joked you for not having and then sitting up here and for all the things that they pride themselves on having, it didn't amount up to anything. Because why are they sitting here looking at you and being jealous of you? Why are they sitting here being jealous of you when there's so many people out here that's out here doing their thing? People that, they, that really have set the standard in this world, in society for black women, for all race of women. Do you understand what I'm saying? People who are really out here doing it. People who are really men who are out here really setting the standard and really setting an example for the young generation. Yet they sit up here and want to take the person who has so much potential that they saw and they want to stifle your growth. They want to hinder you before you even have a chance to begin to live the life that God was calling you to live. Before you can even step into becoming the woman and the man that God intended you to be. You can't hold my past against me. I come from the trenches. Where are my people who got it up out the mud? Where are my people who ain't have a silver spoon get given to them? This is what I'm saying. They think because you start off with less than them that, that you will never amount to anything or be better than them. But when you start up here and baby, you was out here breaking generational curses like it was nobody business. Breaking generational, ancestral curses. These people are cursed to win up against you. This, this is why they got that energy up in you. Because let me tell you something. When you're called out of the world, you're not. You're in this world, but you're not part of it. You're not going to move or think like other people think. Hence why when you go and you encounter someone who's probably doing more than you, you're the type of person you want to learn from that person. Not sit back and hit on that person. And for sure not sit up here and take it up a notch so that this person can lose what it is that they've worked so hard to build and maintain. But you got people like that in, that in this world. And they mad because you cut off and blocked off all access. But let me tell you something. It ain't nobody's fault but theirs why you did what you did. Because one thing about me, when I find out what it is that you've been saying and the evil that you've been sending my way and how you truly feel about me, it don't take much for me to sit up here and block you. I don't care if you're the president of the United States. Blocked. And when you get blocked, you blocked indefinitely. All my life, they been trying to keep us down. You can't keep God's children down when they're meant to rise and they're meant to be great and they're meant to step into greatness and receive blessings and miracles in their life for all the hell, for all the delays, baby, off the strength of how much we went through. Watch your mind if you if you thought, if these people thought for a second that you was going to sit up here and die with these curses on you, die broke, die miserable, die, die uh, being unhappy. You got to think about... Baby, what's going on up here that you would even want that for somebody? They didn't, they're, not even looking, they're not even looking at you as a human being. They're looking at you as a threat, as competition. But the whole time, you didn't even know that there was a competition. The whole time, you didn't even know that you was a threat to these people because how they made you feel. All your life, they've been trying to keep you down. All your life, they've been trying to say that you, who you wasn't, what you wasn't going to be, how you was beneath them, because they always trying to be better or do something better than you. And in their minds, when you do something, instead of trying to have their own creativity and their own sense of self and going out about there and creating their own blueprint, laying out a path forward for themselves, they'll sit up here and see what you got. Oh, I could do it better. But, but, but where you got the inspiration from? Where you got the inspiration from? So then when they see, okay, boom, I'm out here trying to be like this person, but you know what? This person is still out here accomplishing things amidst all the evil that I'm doing, all the lies that I'm spreading, all the negative energy that I'm sending away. And they realize the only person that they block is themselves. All my life. They been trying to keep us down. First generation. Made it out the hood with my head on straight. 
You can't hold the past against me. I 